journey began when he was six years old. When uh, we sent him out to McMillan Park to learn how to skate. to the floor, gave him a chance during tryouts to make the team, and hey, an improbable dream uh, that came true in 2009. Had no idea that Kaylee would one day end up uh, as a member of the Fort Wayne Comets. try to drink lots of water so as soon as I wake up I'll take like a daily vitamin and I'll usually drink two glasses of water before I head to the rink so I've got my mom and uh, my sister all in the same neighborhood which is cool and this is the same neighborhood I I grew up in as a, as a kid so um, I love it here in Fort Wayne and I'm uh, very lucky to have a house in the same neighborhood where I grew up and what I'm used to now it's you know, my sister brings her kids to, the, to every home game. I see them in the stands at every game, and I just know I have a good support group, and it, it makes it easier for me to go out and play and have fun with it. Yeah, we're heading to the uh, pregame skate right now. This is about a 10-minute uh, drive to the rink, so it's, uh, it's perfect. On the way to the rink, I will you know, have a granola bar or something light. I don't like to eat a lot uh, on game days before I skate. You can understand why it's a great rivalry. You got two, you know, blue-collar towns going against each other, and also uh, Stefan Thorne, my form, former line mate, we'll see him tonight. All right, now we're gonna go and get ready for the uh, pregame skate. So, yeah, this is a Coliseum. Uh, it's funny; it smells the same way it used to when I, I used to come to games as a kid. Uh, nothing's really uh, changed about it, which is remarkable. I'll get to the rink. When I get to the rink, the first thing I do is I check my sticks. Um, usually I have one of the uh, assistant equipment managers uh, tape my stick uh, for me for every game. It's kind of a superstition. How many sisters you got? How many sisters you got? This is a score that I used to tally with uh, Thorny before he was uh, traded. What is this one drill at the end of pregame skate where pretty much like you're coming in on a breakaway, you get a pass in the corner. And, uh, I was up two on Thorny, and Brett Smith, he decided, you know what, I'm a little more skilled than Shrocky, so you know, he wanted to hop in the game, and he said, okay. Well. Yes! Yes, Smitty! The fact that he is so utterly competitive and intense, and has, you know, maybe some of those intangible qualities that they refer to as character just kind of carried him and uh, helped land him in this situation. Yeah! Woo! Two goals, baby! I tied it up! Juicy, my shot's so hard, babe. So hard, baby. After pregame skate, usually one of the teammates and I will head to Casa, get the same thing every time, the Paulo Romano and uh, Calamare. Just had a good meal, now we're gonna head out. And, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get a big nap in. Uh, just woke up from a nap. Uh, now I'm gonna uh, hop in the shower, uh, put on my suit, put on uh, my championship ring, whichever one I'm, I'm just feeling lucky that day. I, mean, I still get a little nervous before every game, especially the, the home games, and especially this time of the year when really every game is an audition for your job. So. Um, try to warm up. 
uh, get my legs loose, play a little soccer um, before the game. Uh, we call it sewer ball. Sure. <laughs> Reno's a rat. You got to watch out for guys like that in sewer ball. But it fits his name, you know, rats live in the sewer, so. Oh! Yeah, He's dead. <laughs> just, just a simple, oh, my fault, man. Not even like, not even like, man, I'll take that one for you. To the, to the death, to the death. Don't let Shaggy win. <laughs> After sewer ball, the coach will come in, he'll give us the pregame, uh, the, the game plan. You know, it's just about being a good pro. You know, you got four days left together as a team, and uh, you know, be a good pro, guys. Good pros show up, they're prepared, they're ready to play, uh, they give it all they got, and they give the fans their money's worth. So make sure you're a good pro. All right, boys? All right, all right. From there, I'm putting on my equipment and we're, we're warming up. Here we go. Here we are. speech and then I'm ready to play at
tough one. It was kind of a microcosm of our season, you know. Uh, the game went back and forth, and we couldn't find a way uh, to bail Charlie out at the end. He played great for us, and uh, sometimes that's the way things go. Go ahead. So everyone wants this guy. Blackhawks, huh? I'm a Blackhawks guy, too. Oh, nice shirt. Thanks for the support. Oh, I like it. Right on the seven? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Everything you've done for the community with the kids. You've been watching uh, Kavanaugh for a long uh, time. You know, my dad is the one that really has been at every uh, every practice uh, that I've had ever since I was a kid. He's the one that hauled me around. Uh, you know, took a lot of time. Uh, took a lot of time and money to, to send me to different places, and he was always in my corner. I'm I'm, I'm a bit of a, a rink rat at my tender age of about 71. I, I, I don't think I missed any of Kaylee's games from day one, and that goes all the way back and now through, uh, you know, through his four years uh, with the Cops. I don't think he's ever said a, uh, a bad word to me after a, after a hockey game. He's always been really supportive, even when he knew I didn't play well. Okay. <laughs> I think he was really the centerpiece and uh, what really helped me uh, grow into what I've, what I've become as far as, as a hockey player and as a person. We're going to go to Applebee's here, the little pre-game, or post-game meal, I should say. Did you see that? See what? Huh? The thing that just fell from heaven. <laughs> yep. Good dinner, now we're going to head home and finally get some sleep and then put an end to the night. It's just, uh, you know, people don't understand that it's just more than just showing up uh, to the rink to play a game. Uh, and it, it is a job, and uh, even more so in the summer when the season ends. You know, at times we still pinch ourselves in, uh, in disbelief over the fulfillment of that dream. Because it's uh, uh, pretty unlikely, you know. I mean, let's face it, the kid is not the most highly skilled hockey player on this or any other team. But, you know, it's been over the years, I think his hard work, his work ethic. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for me is if I'm not working hard, it's, uh, you know, I'm not effective on the ice. Where skilled players that, um, you know, they may not have to work as hard as I do because they can get away with some of their some of their skill and uh, they may not have to take a hard stride all night as long as they can put the puck in the net or on the power play. So for me, it's really, um, Making sure I work hard and making sure that my teammates see that. My girlfriend likes to write quotes on the uh, on the whiteboard. From that. Today's is uh, don't change who you are because others cannot handle who they are. Pretty good, huh? <laughs>